Yo, cousin, did y'all hear about Chrisley Chris, the former Miss USA lady who plummeted to her expiration? And they saying it was a um, purposeful ejection of breath. We could say that. You know, because you two be tripping. Let's get into this. Love you, Cousin Shrew. Former Miss USA winner. Like, she literally jumped from her apartment. Uh, high stories. Like, you know them buildings up in New York. Them uh, rising towers. Like, couldn't you find another way to... I don't want to be insensitive, but it, like, you... It, sweetie... You could have took some pills. You could have, um, I'd rather you would have, you know, than jumping from the, <laughs> like, uh, no, see, that's, that, that's just too much for me. Like, why? You know what I'm saying? And then they said she left a note, um, to the mother saying, you know, everything going to the mother. Now, first thing I thought was foul play. You know, I'm that, that we black. We gonna think no, nah, she ain't. She's beautiful, Miss USA. You know, uh, everything should be okay. Maybe her mother did it because she wanted all the stuff and wrote herself a note. But no, nah, man, it's real out here. You know, uh, people so depressed and everything that's going on in America, and it's just like they feeling like that's the only option. But you know what? I heard from a friend and he was talking to a friend that's from another country Africa and he was really upset like saying that Americans are punks pretty much I mean we in the land of the free the most be like I ain't gonna say the most beautiful because some of these other places is beautiful but supposed to be you know one of the best countries in the world and people can't take nothing. I mean, these people in Africa and other countries, they had a hard life. They whole life, else they living in huts and um, buildings, got to walk 50 miles to drink dirty water. Hey, kids getting taken from them. Like, what's going on? Like, I, I, like, we need to toughen up, like, and really put our faith in God. You know what I'm saying? So we could get through some things. Hey, like, nothing should be that hard where you want to just delete yourself you know what I'm saying like never get let it get to that point like if you feeling like you got that going on and you want to take yourself reach out to somebody even reach out to me you know what I'm saying like because it's not worth that I, I mean I know it's hard you know it's hard but if you blessed to wake up another day that means that you got another chance. You know, I don't know what nobody could be going through. And trust me, I've been there. I've thought about it myself at times. But I'm not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, life is precious. You know what I'm saying? Live it to the fullest, you know. I don't know if it's a man or you feel not loved or you feel like you lost this and you can't come back. You can come back, I'm telling you. It's been people who've been down to ground zero, literally, and came back up. You know, long as you keep fighting and don't give up, you know, rest in peace to the former Miss USA. Um, yeah. Back with another banger. Yeah, baby. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. What's up, cousin? This your favorite cousin trippin', I'm back with another banger, I'm back with another banger, I'm back with another banger. What's up YouTube? It's your favorite cousin trippin', I'm back with another banger, I'm back with another banger, I'm back with another bang bang pow pow. Yo, if you new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you already, you know, one of my cousins. Please thumbs up this video. It helps with the algorithm, which means, you know, uh, it helps promote the video so I can get seen by more people and this channel can finally start to grow. Can you do that for me before we even get into it? Now, as you can see, did you do it? Okay, you know, I'm just checking. 
I got my girl Janet back here. I just got finished watching the documentary. You probably know what this is from the uh, title of the video. I know a lot of y'all probably won't, you know, uh, story times and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I'm trying to get these uh, numbers up. So, um, y'all going to be seeing a whole bunch of stuff. Reviews, all of that. So, <laughs> I watch stuff. I got an opinion. Anyway. I just got finished watching the Janet Jackson documentary and what I could tell y'all uh, from watching it um, right off the rip is uh, Reby, she went to the best nose person. Now how she the least famous um, out of the Jackson family and she somehow found the best nose doctor. And she still look good. I said, you know how old is Reby? She gotta be about uh, 70. Yo. I don't know what's going on with these Jackson jeans, but they look good. They look young. You know, um, I would say black don't crack, but I seen a couple cracked blacks. So I'm going to just say, you know, them Jacksons, you know, got some good doctors. But, um, yeah, three parts. I'm kind of hoping and wondering, is it another part? You know, because, you know, she got into a lot of stuff. You know, she talked about the little fake child that y'all said she had for the longest time. Y'all was starting to make me believe she had a baby. And, you know, I ain't crazy. I'm like, why would she have a baby? You know, because she didn't want, you know, the, the, the barge dude she was married to. You know, um, yeah, he was a drug addict. You know, and his crazy thing is, you know, she wanted to be married. She fell in love with this dude. I could tell that Janet really loved this dude because she was really emotional talking about it. Like, like it still hurts her, you know, that he went through that, you know. Um, allegedly, this ain't no allegedly. The boy did crack. I don't know if it was crack. He did something. He was on drugs. And the night he got married to Janet... He went to the hotel, took them to the hotel, dropped Janet off. She was up in that hotel by herself, somewhere in Boston, locked down in a, in a room for four hours. Who do this to Janet Jackson? See, yeah, that's crazy. You know, um, came back high and all of this. So Janet had to deal with his drug addiction and things like that. She finally got over it, left him, got with another man, and everything was going good with the Renee dude. Now, you know, come to find out, Renee uh, started using drugs. You know, so she got rid of Renee, you know, um... Got with uh, Shredder, I mean, Jermaine Dupree. Um, you know what I got from that situation is that um, niggas is dumb as hell. Like, yeah, it made me feel a lot better about the people who cheated on me. Because it's like, damn, if Beyonce and Janet Jackson getting cheated on, a nigga like me ain't got nothing coming. You know, people ain't shit. Like, everybody goes through the same things. It really don't matter who you is. You know, you're going to all experience love and hurt and pain and all those types of things janet is one of us she's been through things you know um janet's sassy you know she gonna stand up for what she want you know she gonna speak her mind i love that about janet you know y'all was mad at justin timberlake for you know years you know what i'm saying the black people first y'all liked him when he came out with gone and all that y'all was going around the house saying gone yeah huh gone y'all liked him then but as soon as the titty came out um, at the Super Bowl, y'all flipped on him. You know, y'all started blaming Justin Timberlake um, for the titty. You know, and y'all, you know, wanted Janet to be mad at him and all of this kind of stuff. But Janet said, you know, we cool. This wasn't Justin's fault. I'm the one who told Justin not to say nothing. So I think all of y'all people need to apologize to Justin Timberlake. Because y'all black people have been mad at him for years. You know, I still liked him. Um... Yeah, but the thing that I'm missing is what's up with the billionaire? You ain't gonna talk about the billionaire. You can't just skate past that, Janet. You know what I'm saying? You talked about all these other, and that's the problem I have when these people do documentaries. Y'all choose to leave certain stuff out. You know, and you always leaving out the stuff we want to know. Now, you didn't tell some other stuff. But, you know, we want to know what happened with the billionaire. We want to see that house. What went on when you was over there in the, the Arab? And the, the, like, what happened? We thought you was going to be a queen and the heiress and all this. I mean, you got the baby. But we want to see the billionaires. That is another part coming on. Lifetime. Y'all let her do this? Janet, you owe us another documentary. You know, um, I like the documentary. I don't like how it ended. You know, um, 
Yeah, she talked about Michael, you know, and things like that. It was very, very good. You did, you, you did good until the end. So I'm gonna have to give you, um, I give it a seven point five. You know what I'm saying? You didn't show the baby. You know, like, come on. We can't see the baby. Now you acting like Michael Jackson hiding the baby. You Beyonce and um. Y'all hiding these kids from us. Like, can we see the baby? You know, but I could tell she was really happy. She loved her baby. You know, I'm proud of Janet. Everybody loves Janet. She's super dope. She's a queen. Um, yeah, but the documentary, if you're going to check it out, it's on Lifetime. And it's definitely worth checking out. You know, even if you ain't a Janet Jackson fan, you will learn a lot. You know, um, she's just a sweet person. You know, uh, if you're new to the channel, like I said, please subscribe to your cousin. Can I get some love? You know, and that's the problem I got with us. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got all these other little white channels and all that kind of stuff blowing up. The white people, as soon as they watch a video, they hitting the like and subscribe. But it takes so much for y'all to even uh, like a damn video. You know, we can have more black millionaire YouTubers if y'all support a brother. You know, um, yeah, but this is like one of my little reviews. I'm going to start doing more little reviews, you know, and things like that. Of the stuff that I watch, you know, hope y'all could check it out. If you ain't got Lifetime, um, maybe somebody could put it on YouTube for you later. I wonder if I could do that. That might get some views. Nah, I ain't going to steal her stuff. Yeah, um, but yeah, stay tuned, man. It's your favorite cousin tripping. I'm back with another banger. You already know, I'm out.